So today I've revived my beginner series. This is going to go on for many weeks, okay? So today we're going to learn this. So if you're new here, please do subscribe. Please do leave us a like and a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you. I'm Andy Twitchell Taylor. I'll be your instructor today. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, guys. <laughs> Right, so to start off this tutorial, we're going to start up on our shoulder here. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a pointing stick, okay? And we're going to point this diagonally down to this hip. So we're using our right hand, use to our left hip. From here, what we're then going to do is we're going to bring our right hand from our left hip all the way over to our right hip. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back up here. In slow-mo, this will look like this. So, for the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to point this stick at our spine area right there. From here, we're going to move this gap in our arm here over our head so we're almost necking ourselves. This is going to cause you to be able to reverse the direction of the triangle bounce. In slow-mo, the move looks like this. So, from here, what you're going to do, see my right hand is on my left shoulder, do you see? From here, I'm going to move my right hand back down to my right hip. From there, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to point this stick here all the way over to my left hip. From there, I'm going to bring it all the way back up to this shoulder. From there, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to do the reverse part of what we've done to transfer it over. So we bring this up to the centre of our spine here and move this stick to this shoulder. That will allow you to do the move all over again. So in slow-mo, it looks like this. So, I hope this tutorial helps you, and I'll see you again next time, guys.